Hi, welcome back to a short video clip. Um, at the end of one of our last clips, we said we'd do another um, piece of interest as we as we came across them. Um, this is a little bit unusual. It may not be something you've seen before. Um, we're going to varnish this boat. Um, the advantages of having a boat varnished, um, as you can see with this boat, it's already been varnished and it's having a another coat. Is that any damage you do to it? Um, as long as it doesn't go through the varnish, so we're just talking about generally scuffs, um, tree branches, that sort of thing that have, have marked the surface. Once we prep it, they will disappear. So after this varnishing, any little bits of damage, any scuffs will all disappear and the owners will get a, a nice new shiny boat back again. It's a good time as well, obviously, to do any little repairs to the paintwork. So it's, it's a nice job. Now, why would you have your boat varnished? Well, paint does tend to start to lose its gloss after a number of years. Um, the paint itself might be quite sound, quite good, um, but it's starting to lose its, its luster. Now, varnishing will put that back again. As long as the paint isn't damaged, um, a light rub down, fine grade over the surface of the paintwork to key it, um, and then we can apply a lacquer or varnish to that and a dull boat will suddenly be a shiny boat. You're putting that luster back on. You have to uh, appreciate that you buy into a long-term um, program. Uh, varnish needs to be replaced or if you like overcoated between every two to three years. So once it's been done every two to three years you must have it redone. You can't wait until it looks like it needs doing um, because that means the varnish is actually failing if you can see any issues with it. Um, and then it will have to be stripped off. And quite possibly um, it will have damaged the paintwork if you, if you leave it too long. So it's something to think about. Um, these people have had this boat varnished. Um, it's, it's lasting beautifully, it's, it's quite an old boat. Um, and any little scuffs, there's a little scuff in the cabin side here where there's a little tree branch is caught. Um, once we've prepped the surface, that will just totally disappear. These are the annoying things when you get the lines coming down the side of the boat from um, trees and such like um, in your paintwork. Well, varnish will remove these. Um, it will remove them in the existing paintwork and then subsequently, should you scuff the varnish, um, you'll get that rid of that. So. This varnish now, it's a good hard coat, it protects the boat, um, it's very weatherproof, helps to hold your colours and as we say every two to three years you just pop back in and we have it for a couple of days, give it another coat and oh no way you go. Now if we just hold it there, let's walk around to the other side of the boat and see what we've, how the prep surface looks. Right, this is a surface um, just the other side of the boat started this yesterday all we've done is gone over it with a fine grade um, abrasive on, on our DAs um, it's as you can see it's just dust on the on the surface here if you wet that or you put uh, anything damp on that that will actually show the, the gloss coat back through again so it's just the dust on the surface the idea is you mat the varnish off you give it um, a sufficient abrasion so it will keep the next coat of varnish and, and then you just varnish over the whole surface. Um, we roll and brush it. It wants to be a nice even coat um, and laid off as if you were painting. And in, uh, in a few hours time, once I've, I've cleaned this up and we've varnished it, we'll invite you back and you can come and have a look and see what it looks like when the, the full job's done.
Hi, we're back again. Um, the prep's finished. We've masked the windows up. I've run a bit of tape down the gunnels just to make um, life easier. We don't want any drips and varnish going on the gunnels. It's been lightly sanded and then I've gone over it with sort of a mop head machine just to just to mat it off so we get a nice um, a nice working surface to, to go with and then it's been hoovered and tacked um, to make sure we've got no dust and that this uh, this varnish is going to go straight onto that so we're ready I'll uh, I'll start uh, getting some varnish on it and um, hopefully you'll be able to see the, the immediate change um, the little gadget I've got in my hand here was recommended by someone off the internet who's seen some of our previous uh, video clips excellent little bit of kit gives the chance there to use the, the roller and a rush combined um, and the varnish is just sitting in the bottom of this Wooster Pelican that's an ideal little thing there and when you see in a minute you'll see I can just put the roller down in the Pelican and continue from there so it's just a case now of getting a nice even coat and making sure that it's a nice even coverage by and your roller work now I'm using a normal purdy brush three inch a fair bit of cabin side to go through here and a lot of people would perhaps come from the handrail down and, and lay off onto that strip um, nothing wrong with that I think it's probably quite an approved method of doing it um, personally I like to just come up off the gunnel that just ensures that I'm lifting any varnish up towards the handrail and that's going to reduce any chances of me wiping the brush on the handrail as if I try to lay off downwards so just a technique that I'm happy with I'm not saying it's the right one um, I've done the other side we haven't got any runs on the handrail so I'm quite happy with that don't expect it to look super flat the moment you do it varnish needs to settle just like paint does so you'll get a little bit of time lapse before it looks as good as it can but I think well hopefully you'll be able to see the transformation taking place before your eyes almost as this varnish is going on and just changing that dull matte surface over to a high gloss now remember you can do this pretty much to any boat so if your boat has lost its luster then it's only a case of doing any little bits of remedial work that's necessary and then you can go on with a, a good varnish and you'll get a nice finish again technique I use there just just drop off the Hold, hold, just let the bristles just come straight off there and uh, that'll give us a, the illusion at least that I painted behind the board holes or varnish behind varnish will tend to seal any windows and port holes um, and, and I'll act as a waterproof barrier so I'm not suggesting you use it as a means of sealing up your portholes but as it's a regular process the build up of varnish there will certainly stop in any ingress of water so there's a little example I think we can halfway along with the uh, porthole there we can see a, a fair contrast now I'm going to continue now and finish this job off and uh, once it's had a chance to flat out a little bit We'll uh, let you have another look and see what you think. Hi there. Well, we've come outside with the boat. It's all finished. Um, our fixtures and fittings are back. Um, and as you can see, 
doesn't look too bad at all. The main thing to think about when you varnish a boat, if that's the route you want to take, is your paintwork must be sound. You don't want rust um, varnish, varnish over the top of it, the rust still there. Um, if your paint is damaged, um, obviously you want to make all your repairs before you consider varnishing and you really need a fairly sound um, base. We often say to people, if your boat's a few years old, it's starting to look tired, the paintwork's maybe lost its lustre, um, then varnishing is a very good um, alternative certainly to having a, a full repaint for something where the paint works just really just not much more than a bit tired. Um, if there are a few issues with your paintwork, um, you have got the odd rust spot, the odd bit, bits and bobs that need doing. Um, if you treat them, make patch repairs, whatever's necessary, um, and then when you map the whole boat off and varnish, to a degree that will blend them all in and you can actually end up then making a fairly good um, job of it and the repairs you've made as long as you um, do it with some thought and, and blend them in then they should blend in with the rest of the paintwork and then the varnish will just put the gloss on the top. Matting a boat off um, will take out a lot of the scratches and, and, and surface damage and then the varnish will we'll just put that luster back on. So it's something to think about. Um, if you have any questions, then there's always our website to go to and we'll see what we can do to answer them. But it's, uh, it's an alternative to a full repaint for sure, um, but it only really applies to certain boats in certain conditions, unless you're gonna do some remedial work um, and get your boat particularly prepped for varnishing. So I hope that's been help helpful. Um, we've got a boat in the workshop now and we're stripping it down so if we find anything on that that's uh, going to be useful for you um, we'll, we'll upload. Thanks a lot.